of stuff to get through today. I'm not sure we'll get through all of it. I, I usually click on the internet and look. I, I upload the One Football app and I look at all the stories. They put them all together from all different websites. I don't think I'll pick three or four. I'll read them and then we'll look at who's been linked with West Ham. So many that, you know, almost couldn't... <laughs> I don't, there ain't enough windows on this bloody computer to pull up all the stories. There are loads and loads and loads. What I want to deal with beforehand is a comment yesterday on on the yesterday's video, which sort of ties into a few of the stories, particularly around Lingard and particularly around Tarkowski. And in particular, the fact that Newcastle will be challenging for some of the, some of the players, namely those two that West Ham are after. And I find it to be a really, really odd scenario there. It's basically money versus, I guess, league position and aspiration in those sort of terms. Don't get me wrong, I understand why Newcastle want to buy these players. They've got to get out of the of the trouble that they're in. But if you look at their next few their next few fixtures, um they ain't good. They ain't good. It's highly likely that come the start of the January transfer window. Newcastle United will be bottom of the Premier League. Um, you'd say certainly bottom three, but they may even be bottom. And you look at that and you think that's got to be prohibitive for anybody wanting to sign for them. Anyway, so the comment yesterday, and you'll have to excuse me if I can't, um, if I can't remember exactly who wrote it, but somebody said, they said, Gonzo, what makes you so confident we'll sign Tarkowski? He and his wife have both stated that they want to stay um, up in the up in the northwest. Um, so, I mean, to answer that, number one, I was not confident we're, we're signing Tarkowski. That's not what I'm saying. I've no confidence. I've got no inside inside track on it. I don't know. I don't know him. I don't know his wife. I've not even seen if there was an article. I guess it must have been an article or something somewhere or, or an interview. Not seen the interview. Not read the article. Don't know anything about it at all. It's literally putting two and two together. And, um, and maybe I'm coming up with six, but maybe just maybe I'm coming up with four. I'm not ready to dismiss it just yet, by the way. Um... Just put that aside, that little bit of information aside, that Tarkowski wants to stay up there in the northwest. Take that to one side. Why do I think we're interested? Well, Moyes really likes him. We know that. That's number one. Number two, he can play on the left side of defence. We know that's a big thing for David Moyes. Um, so you've got to remember, this guy was David Moyes' target before Zuma. So you have to assume that David Moyes' first two transfer targets, in terms of centre-back, were Tarkowski and Kurt Zuma. So David Moyes got a chance to actually pair. He thought he was probably just going to get one. He's got a chance to get both of them. Because Tarkowski's contract's running out. Do I think we'll get him now? No. But do I think there's a serious chance of us getting him in the summer? Yes, I do. All right? So that's that's that. Oh, and it's just, you know, that's it just sort of makes sense, doesn't it, really? I also look at it, and I think, realistically, would Newcastle sell... Oh, sorry, would Burnley sell to Newcastle? I mean, they are their sort of rivals, aren't they? Let's be fair, if Newcastle stay up and aren't in the bottom three, Burnley might be one of the clubs that are down there and are in the bottom three. So, I mean, I think that'd be a little bit silly to do that. And as I've said, the whatever, the, the eight, nine million that they might get for Tarkowski, it just ain't worth it, bearing in mind I'll probably get 180 million for staying in the Premier League. So I think that's um, that just doesn't make any sense to me. And then let's look at the player himself, because this... Because I want to talk about Lingard as well, because Newcastle have said that they intend to outbid outbid West Ham for Lingard and Tarkowski. Um, I'm not sure that really comes into it. Uh, by the way, I'm not sure how, how well Newcastle said it. These are, this is what the articles are saying. I'm sort of reading into it um, a little bit there. Um, but let's look at Tarkowski's ambition before we get on to Lingard. What we do know about Tarkowski, whilst I haven't seen what him and his wife have been saying, I do know that Tarkowski wants to play in European football, wants to get back in the England squad. That, that I do know. Those interviews I have heard. So... Well, he's not going to do that at Newcastle. He's just not. Um, I don't mean funny. Tarkowski's not 24. It's not like he's going to, you know, he, he can wait three, four years for Newcastle. I mean, it's particularly if they get relegated. To get relegated, come back up and grad gradually work, work their way into European football. Honestly, if they're as rich as we all think that they might be, then he'll be replaced by then anyway. They'll, if they've got endless endless money pissed, by the time they start getting towards European football, they'll go and buy a couple of centre-backs for £50 million each. Tarkowski won't be part of it. He's not silly. He's going to know that as well. Um... He's not getting to the England team. Not not at Newcastle. Won't get. Look, I don't think anyone's getting into they, uh, Gareth Southgate's first choice centre backs, but he might get into the squad at West Ham if West Ham are staying up near the, the top half of the um, the Premier League, which you assume we will. 
Um, he might, he might just might get in the squad. It's not going to do that at Newcastle. So I just don't see it. And then you look at the North East clubs. Okay, so if he wants to say in, sorry, North East, North West clubs, Newcastle, of course, the North East club, North West clubs, who? Who in the North West is he going to sign for? Liverpool? No. Don't think so. Everton? I just I can't see. I can't see Everton coming in for him. Maybe that. I mean, it's the only one that might be a possibility. But would he really? I got, not, not so sure. Um... You start to run out of options. Man United aren't gonna aren't gonna sign him. Man City aren't gonna. So actually, you're running out of options. If what he wants to do is stay in the stay in the northwest, what and represent England? Not really. Uh, anyway, so, so I, I still I think it's on. I've not discounted it anyway. But there are loads of these things. And the story I want to get on to next is is in the One Football app. Excuse me. Let me get me let me get me glasses just here. And it is um, Newcastle determined to outbid West Ham. Um, for Man U out, Cast Lingard. Now, this is from Tribal Football. So, what do one football app do? They'll, they'll go to Tribal Football, they'll go to Football Bandcast, they'll go to all of your, your favourite websites, or non favourite, whatever they are, and it will put all the West Ham news into one place. The link for the one football app is in the description below. Um, just download it to your phone. If you don't like it, you can delete it. Um, but there's just loads of it on there, loads and loads of transfer stories that have all been put together from all of these different places, newspapers and whatnot. So let me just let me just read you this because before before I tear this particular article apart, it says Newcastle determined to land Manchester United midfielder Jesse Lingard. The Magpies are in desperate need for reinforcements, and they've made Lingard their top priority. This is actually sorry, I say I say tribal football, tribal football quoting the Times. So this has come from the Times. So however, after a stellar loan spill at West Ham last season, the England international was believed to be on the Hammers' radar once again. We know this. It goes on to say his contract's about to expire. We know all of that. It says finances will be no issue to Newcastle. Um, however, the current Premier League standard ultimately, yeah, I mean, it's not really telling us anything we don't know. In fact, I'd, I'd almost say it's, it's an article for article's sake there by the time. I'm surprised they, they ran with that one. Um, but, 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 let's just have a look at this. Outbid, outbid should, should not come into it at all. And I'll tell you why. Because if Jesse Lingard wants to go to Newcastle, Jesse Lingard will go to Newcastle. It's as simple as that. Outbid doesn't come into it. Man United are not in a position of strength here. Would Man United rather sell him to Newcastle and West Ham? Yes. If everything I said about Burnley not wanting to sell to Newcastle is true, then Man United not want to sell to West Ham would also be true. Because basically, I'm sorry to say this, this is not going to sound great for Newcastle or Burnley fans, but Newcastle and Burnley, they're each other's competitors. That's where they are. They're in a similar place in the table. This season... West Ham Man United were each other's competitors. You're not going to sell to your competitors. It just doesn't make sense, does it? So then it comes down to the fact of, OK, well, what does Jesse Lingard want? Well, again, like Tarkowski, we know what Jesse Lingard wants. Jesse Lingard wants first-team football. Jesse Lingard wants to feel important, wants to score goals, get assists, and ultimately he wants to get into the England team. I think predominantly he's going to want to get into the England team now, right now. Because the World Cup coming up. That's what he's going to want to do. He wants to impress Gareth Southgate right now. Um, he'll do that at West Ham. He puts himself back in the picture. Southgate's already at West Ham watching Declan Rice or his scouts are every single game. We know this because the England coaches have said it. The England coaches have got scouts at every single game. Sometimes it's Southgate himself. Sometimes it's his number two. Sometimes it's just one of the England scouts. Every single game. All right? Um... Let's let's be perfectly honest. He's already there. If, if Lingard's there, Lingard's on the radar. Lingard can because he's got a he's got a history of doing it at West Ham of getting back into that England team. That ain't gonna happen at Newcastle again for exactly the same reasons. I do not believe Lingard is money motivated. Look, does he love money? Does he love a bit of bling? Of course he does, right? Of course he does. We can see that. But he's already a millionaire a few times over. If money was all he cared about, he would have taken the big offer from Man United. Man United offered him a big contract, well in excess of 100 grand a week, for four or five years. I mean, it, it, it's, it's worth tens of millions of pounds. It's no brainer. If, if money is, is his only option, is his only care, should I say, that's what he's going to do. It, it's, not, it's not even a debate. But it's not. The other things that I said, playing first team football and playing international football and what's important with Jesse Lingard. And as I've said before, Jesse Lingard's not got loads of miles on the clock. Jesse Lingard, at his, at his sort of age, should have about 350 to 400 professional games under his belt. He's got nowhere near it. He's got nowhere near it. 
Um, I've said before, I think Harry, Harry Kane's a similar age to him. Harry Kane's had a lot more injuries than Jesse Lingard, but Harry Kane's played significantly more football than Lingard has. So he's not got many miles on the clock, which basically means he's missed play and he hasn't played very much. He gets look. He gets to play at Newcastle, particularly if they want to make him the main man. But you know, I, I realise I'm trying to talk myself out of out of this at the moment. But I just don't. I really don't see it because. And here's the other thing. And this is why it doesn't. Be, I discount what it says here about Newcastle outbidding West Ham. We won't come into. I don't think money's a money's really a feature of it. And if if what happens is let's say Jesse Lingard is saying to Man U, I'm only going to go to West Ham. Then money doesn't come into it. Who outbids? It doesn't matter if we bid. To try, if we've got to try and get him in January, we bid ten million, but Newcastle bid fifteen. If Jesse Lingard said, "I'm not going," I'm just not signing there. All all the strength is with Jesse Lingard here because Jesse Lingard just said, "Well, I don't have to. I can just sit on my ass for six months and then go and sign for West Ham for free." Now he might choose to do that, but again, money doesn't come into it unless unless we're looking at wages. But let's say that that does happen, and he and he thinks, you know what, I'm going to sit around. All right, maybe in the summer, Newcastle can offer more wages than West Ham. But he's already shown he's not bothered about that. And that means Newcastle don't get Jesse Lingard. Newcastle don't get Jesse Lingard. Newcastle don't get Tarkowski. If Newcastle come January the 1st, are sat at the bottom of the Premier League, they're not going to get loads and loads of really good players. They're really not, and they're reliant on three teams being worse than them. Now, I think... I think on a good day, if, if everything goes well for him, if Lascelles plays well, if Sam Maximam, who's, who looks like a fantastic player, um, plays well, if Wilson's scoring goals, and all those things click into place for Newcastle, they, they, they even then it's going to be hard, from their points total now, not to be in the bottom three. They need new players. New players just might not sign for them. So you may well find that Jesse Lingard, and, and, and even Talkowski, to go back to him, gets to the end of the season... And actually, Newcastle ain't an option. Newcastle might be a championship club. I don't know. I, I think all this, the, the, the flashing of the cash and the flashing of money around, I'm not entirely sure because, as we've seen, not everybody, not everybody, just signs for money. We've done it at West Ham for too long. For too long. We did it with Andy Carroll. And we threw money at Andy Carroll till he agreed to sign. And I might let you make up your own mind whether you thought it was a successful um, Signing or not, but you know, we spent a lot of money on a player that was injured for a long, long time. Chicharito as well. Chicharito was on 140 grand a week nearly at West Ham. Had Liverpool come in for Chicharito, um, then at, at that point to sign him from Real Madrid or wherever it was, it was he wouldn't have he wouldn't have demanded that. He would have been the prestige of playing at the at the top level. This is the thing: we don't have to pay players 40 grand more than they would normally earn to get them to attract them to West Ham. We've got European football now. Newcastle have got to do that. I'm not sure money comes into it. Um, have I convinced you? I don't know. Have I convinced myself? I'm not sure. I just... Um, this one's got a long, long way to run. As far as Tarkowski's concerned, by the way, um, he might want to stay in the northwest with his wife. I, I, I totally get that. I totally get that, by the way. I, I'm surprised more footballers don't do it. I, I'm surprised the number of footballers that, that get their kids to change schools and, and uproot the family and all the rest of it. But it's a lot of money and you make yourself secure for life. I, I totally get that not everybody wants to do it. And I'm surprised we don't hear that more. Really don't. But both things can't be true. Both, if, if he said that, then either that's true and the other one's not. And when I say the other one, I mean about him wanting to move away from Burnley to be able to play, well, he said Champions League football and international football. They can't both... What What is it? I like that. Listen, you know, that, that, you know, that makes him... Who cares what's what he might be, you know, not that ambitious as a footballer, but a real, you know, but putting his family first. Nothing wrong with that. The right choice, if you ask me. Um, but you know, he's not going to be able to have both. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't put too much stock in the fact that he won't, um, he won't move away from that area. I, I, I do think if uh, New, the Newcastle is not really an option, um, and he's going to leave Burnley anyway, and West Ham, you've got European football. We have, and, and let's be fair, he can play European football this season if he joined this season. It'd be eligible for the knockout rounds, so um, that might be a hell of a lure for somebody that wants to play European football and be involved in the England squad. Anyway, um, wasn't time to go for all the others. So many names, so many names. Um, just looking at it here on this, crazy. I mean, it's crazy the amount of players have been linked with. We'll deal with it. I tell you what, we'll deal with it tomorrow. We'll deal with it tomorrow. We'll go for all the names really quickly, and um, uh, <laughs> there's a lot of them. We certainly ain't signing all of them. Mm hmm.